Uh, I'm actually going to be showing uh, like Trip OSR, but I want to get into uh, CRM. It's another node from Floaty. Uh, here it is, Floaty CRM. I've been having difficulty getting it to work. There's a, a NV diff rest. I've been having troubles getting that to work. So uh, hopefully by the end of the week, I'll be able to get that figured out. But let's get back into this. So you can generate an image and then you get you can put it in here and get a 3D object out. That's like, I mean, it's exactly the same as before, but now, now uh, I did fix my computer so now I can do you know 512 or whatever but i think actually do the minimum like two 250 is usually the quality is not as good but it's much easier to pull the model into other um like a 3d online 3d viewer like an object viewer or blender or uh you can even use 3d paint it's pretty nice what i've done is i just take the take the import the model and if it's if it's really low resolution like if it's a uh, like this one is really low. I think this was like the 128 geometry resolution. So for uh, like in real, when you're doing real geometry, like in uh, Blender, when you're making stuff, you actually do want your ge geometry resolution to be low, but like the specialty is in where you put the geometry. So uh, this does get you a lower resolution image out that's much easier to load. So like if you're doing like a 3D print, this would this might be honestly good, like a really small 3D print. That'd be really good. Um, you know, you can kind of see like what a layer, like the layers would kind of look like, like low poly. So it's not terrible. Like for a penguin, that's really easy just because it's all, it's shaped like a, you know, it's shaped like a, but like I had a monkey earlier. This is what happens when, oh, this is a turkey. It's a little turkey with a gun. Pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, here's the monkey. So you can see the monkey, it's, it actually got like a second tail here, but I think that was part of it. But you can see a low res, the monkey's not that bad. Like this might be a decent print. Uh, you could always, you know, mo remove stuff. If you have a, um, a mesh editor, you can cut that off and cut that off and then you'll have a little monkey shaped thing. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. The feet might need to be worked up a little bit, but like if you're doing like little tiny objects, this might be good enough. And then if you're doing like larger stuff, you might want to uh, switch to a uh, larger geometry resolution. Uh, this doesn't actually get that good. Like uh, I think like 600 and then you have to watch your VRAM. So if you pull up your VRAM, I have 24 cause I have a 3090, but if you don't have, and then drag that in. So it uses about 13.6, it looks like. Or 600 that's not bad I thought it was a lot more than that but also it when you have the the mesh loaded in here it takes up some some memory as well so uh, that's something to look for as well it won't all just be um oh it looks like it got up to 17 or 18 so you can see how like I think it's exponential so the higher like if I did 700 I could maybe do 700 it might go up to like 22 gigabytes but uh, so the the mesh is, it's its a very like detailed mesh. Like you can see the, the layers kind of, but uh, the quality is not super great because it's just taking it from this image. So the quality is not that great. Um, so you still got to work on that a little bit. Um, but the Tripo uh, CRM, convolutional reconstruction model. So it, it does generate uh, multiple angles and then it generates the characters. I've heard that the quality is a lot better out of this one, but the it doesn't maintain the shapes as well, so the shapes aren't as as great, so it might not be as good for 3D printing and stuff. An object, and then you can just drag that to wherever you need. Uh, it doesn't name them or anything, but uh, yeah. The other thing I wanted to bring up is that uh, if you can't get the uh, the the Triple SR working properly. Uh, you can take this web folder, or you just copy paste this web folder into your base folder, and that should fix it. If you have one in here, just try to overwrite it, and then it should fix that um, the Tripo SR viewer. That'll help a lot. Uh, that was one issue I had, but I got it figured out, so should be good.
Yo, what's up? It's me again. I just, uh, I was editing the video in ClipChamp. If you don't use ClipChamp, it's so easy to just edit stuff and, like, change the form. Like, if you do shorts, easy. E anyways, uh, so I was just editing in ClipChamp because it's easy. Anyways, I, uh, forgot to make it, uh, uh like, leave. So, um, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be trying to upload more stuff in generation uh, surrounding, like, 3D object type stuff. So, hopefully... I can start doing a little bit more of that this uh, this week or, you know, going into the future. Uh, please, uh, if you're interested in that, uh, subscribe and like the video. Um, yeah. Uh, leave a comment if you have, like, literally anything you want to say. Just leave a comment or workflow. I mean, I, literally, I'm, I'll do whatever you guys ask me to do. I'll, I'll, I'll do anything. You know, just leave a comment. I'll reply and, you know, thanks. All right. I'm going to leave now. Okay.